Hello people! Wow, wow! Back in my bedroom, it seems like I've been... Seems like I've been... Seems like I haven't been here in... FOREVER! What's with my arms? I have absolutely no idea. I've kind of not been... I haven't been around for about two, two weeks because I've been so busy with exams and school and oh my god but I've only got four weeks left and then it's the summer holidays I'm so excited <laughs> I'm going all weird but today is kind of a sad topic because I'm going to be talking about anxiety problems um, and that is probably why the music is changing now don't even know what that was I'm going to be talking about anxiety problems if you don't know what anxiety means I'm not going to tell you because I don't know really, actually don't actually know what it means. It's kind of like when you shut up phone, it's kind of like when you get... Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to talk about when I had anxiety problems and how I got helped. And then hopefully it's going to help some of you people watching this. Yes. I hope it does. Let's get started. About two years ago, maybe, I think, not entirely sure, but I think it was, I began to feel horrible, basically. Not very good about myself and just ugh, not very comfortable with situations, basically at school and stuff yeah and these feelings and things gradually got worse for me and one thing that's really annoying me at the moment is the fact that I'm doing oh, just stop it Lauren gradually began to felt to felt to feel worse and so I decided to speak to my mum. I just spoke about it and kind of made a doctor's appointment and went and spoke to my doctor about three times before they, I don't know, what's the word? Oh, I've forgotten the word, what the hell? There we go, referred. Yeah, before they referred me to a place which I don't know what is called. Um, no, I, d I don't know. Um, where I could speak to someone and get helped. Yes, help. I went to this place um, and spoke to someone for the first time and then they put me on like a waiting list um, to um, talk to somebody and my nan and granddad did not want me to be waiting because they wanted me to get better as soon as possible so they decided to pay for me to have it privately yeah so i started going to see this woman after school on a thursday every week and i don't even know how long this went on for but it went on for a pretty long time a couple of months actually January, February, March, April, May, June, about six months. That's a long time. Why did I go for that long? I went and spoke to her because she helped me and she told me a lot of things to help me get through it and feel good about myself and feel like, because I used to feel like I was getting judged all the time, but to make sure I didn't feel like I was because, I mean, people are judging me all the time. Why would people constantly want to look at me and judge me? Why do you want to look at me? 
she told me, well, one of my problems was kind of like when I looked in the mirror, I would see my reflection and think to myself, oh, I don't look okay, or I look really ugly, what is wrong with me, sort of thing. And then she would try and tell me that to look in a mirror and look at myself and tell myself that I look nice, I'm pretty, and to feel positive. So that's what I started doing and now I do feel better about myself and that's what I want you people to do if you're feeling like that. I want you to look in a mirror and I want you to tell yourself good things about yourself. I want you to tell yourself that you're beautiful and everything, whether it's on the inside or out. I would like you to do that. Another thing she kind of helped me with was my confidence and courage and stuff along those lines. So this is a weird technique that she taught, 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 I can't even say the word, taught me. Basically I had to stand up and picture I was in like a tube, tube, that's a weird word, tube. Sorry, um, imagine I was in a tube and then I'd have a colour that represented different things like confidence and courage and I would picture the tube filling up with that colour which represented that thing. So I would picture myself standing in a tube with it filling up with yellow which represented confidence and that actually helped me and made me feel better. I still use that technique sometimes now. So it does help a bit. Another thing she told me, sort of, was, well, she gave me a book. This book called When I Loved Myself Enough by Kim Macmillan. This book has different quotes in it and things which kind of help you with yourself. And she made me read a few and then let me keep the book, obviously. When I loved myself enough, I learned to stop what I am doing, if even for a moment, and com... com ugh, I'm reading that again. When I loved myself enough, I learned to stop what I am doing, if even for a moment, and comfort the part of me that is scared. Yeah, so, if you are struggling a bit, you could buy this book somewhere. I'm not sure where you can get it, maybe Amazon, maybe? I don't know. Well yeah, I'm really happy that I have been helped and this should have helped some people with the same problems as me, well, that I had, and it just feels really good to just let it all out. Just want to make a point that I'm not making this video and telling you about, you know, how I felt for sim, 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 sympathy, there you go, sympathy. I'm doing it because I want to help others and share what happened to me and how I felt and I'm just so glad that I did get helped and I just spoke to someone because speaking to people does help and if I hadn't been helped then I wouldn't be here talking to you now or basically just talking to a camera in my bedroom but still, still, because I really enjoy this and I wouldn't have started it without the confidence so anyway away from that video being down and everything I can't wait to do more videos in the summer holidays because I'm gonna do loads of fun stuff like challenges and everything yeah I also came up with, came up, came up with an idea I'm not sure whether you guys will like it or not but I hope you will that recently because I did quite a few challenges with Rosie didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah, um, I was thinking of doing like a series where every so often I'll, there'll be like a Lauren versus Rosie where we will just do a challenge and stuff because it's fun doing challenges and also I'm not on my own doing a video, I'm with someone else, yeah! So, comment your opinions of that idea, also comment some other stuff, I love reading comments. You can inbox me some stuff because I always enjoy reading people's messages. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to me if you're not already subscribed because all you have to do is click a button and it will make my day. 
share this video with your family and your friends and anyone who, uh, who you know is struggling with problems like I was. And I will see you next week. Goodbye! Yeah. Weird word. Tube.